Kenny, did you deserve that scoreline? Did you deserve that defeat? We needed the first goal, and I thought in both, both halves, uh, where we had chances, pressure, uh, set pieces, and we created a lot of chances. And I do think on another day, we're worthy of some goals, but couldn't find that finish anyway. Keeper, you know, made some, some great saves, some, some good headers and, and, and blocks from them, from situations where we were. And as I said, you know, we needed the first goal in both halves to try to have a run at them. Uh, but um, the counter-attacking was ruthless. And uh, the more people we threw forward then towards the end, the more it looked open uh, 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 for us at the back. And, you know, when they get through, they don't miss. Was the second goal crucial at half-time or just on the stroke at half-time? Yeah, maybe. But, you know, I do think the first goal, though, where, you know, we were going away from our fans, if you like, in the first half, but on a, a very good performance, had a lot of chances, uh, a lot of set pieces. A lot of one-on-ones that, that they came through, and um, uh, need, really needed that going into then the second half. You know where we're going into our fans. Started pretty strong, to be honest with you, in terms of the second period as well. You know, a lot of good situations. Couldn't find the finish, and as I said, in the end they were ruthless on the break. There was the difference. Um, they're closing, uh, they're passing, and, and you know, particularly when they got through, they don't miss. Was it just class in the end that told? Yeah, maybe. But as I said, you know, for us to be successful tonight, you know, during those pressure, those pressure sort of periods, for which, you know, we we had quite a few, um, we needed to score and, and give us that incentive. Fans were great throughout. Yeah, they were. It was a, you know the atmosphere everybody talked about. Obviously, you know the four 0 scoreline um, is, is frustrating for us. Um, if you've seen the game, obviously you can see a lot of positives for us. Um, disappointed really with the, the Hawkins injury. You know, working hard to get him back, and then second game in. Hopefully, that's not too bad because we need those you know, those type of partnerships to settle down with him and Burgess. But um, we'll see how bad he is. Hopefully, he's not out too long. It's putting the ball away, isn't it? That's the problem. Yeah, but similarly, if we can replicate that type of tempo and quality at times in our league, then we will score. And and you know, I thought there was there was promising signs all the way along our front line. And um, uh, I do feel that you know, if those guys can, you know, play at that tempo, if those guys can produce that many chances, then they will score. They're all capable of it. And and as I said, you know, we had enough chances uh, uh, early on in both halves. And we had uh, enough one-on-one -on -one situations and enough set pieces where, you know, we keep putting those players in those situations and the goals will go in for us. Uh, frustration at the back slightly because, you know, we're always looking at combinations and don't want to lose people. And, and back four players about consistency and trying to keep the same people uh, working together. But um, if, you, if you change, then you need to, to, to work again. And, and you know, for, for Southampton, you know, particularly on the break when there were spaces, you know, they were ruthless on the break and um, um, where we had pressure and uh, uh, opportunities and balls in the box, they were ruthless on the break.